Welcome to the Bank of America Countdown to Green as we get set to go racing. Last week at Talladega was a good one. Those restrictor plate tracks can be monotonous, but a lot went, there was a lot going on there. Uh, we survived an early scare when Scott Wimmer blew his engine in front of us. After some green flag pit stops, the field got split into two, three, four packs, and we weren't in the first couple packs, and we were just riding it out, hoping for a caution. Finally got one when Cal Bush blew his engine, and Robbie Gordon and Kurt Bush just didn't know what to do about it. On the restart after that caution, the field got split up again. And our saving grace was Jason Leffler. He was a he was a, just a wounded duck going around the track, whatever happened to his car. He, he had a profound effect on the race. And we were able to pick up some spots, catch up catch up to some groups. And finally, after however, however many races I've run, we had a genuine splash and go situation at the very end of the race. A lot of fun. We had what I consider to be, and what people in the garage are saying, the best pit stop, pit road, pit road entry maybe of all time. We came out ahead of Ryan Newman. We finished 14th. Dale Jarrett got the win, his first win of the season. And that brings us here to the Rock. Five races remaining in our season. We have the Chase and the Winston Cup going on. Uh, the Chase, we have five more races. Uh, Jimmy Johnson jumps out to an early lead after Talladega. We're not really worried about that over there. We're, off, we're obviously going to keep track of it and for narrative's sake, but we're concerned about that Winston Cup on the right. We're 23 points behind Newman. We're inching, we're inching closer and closer. Jeff Gordon's right on our heels. Tony Stewart's, he's been part of the big four, but he's, he's dropping off a little bit, but we'll see what happens. We've got five races left. We're hitting up the rock. We're starting 14th. Rockingham, North Carolina. It's a sunny but cool day in Rockingham. Temperature in the mid-50s. The track surface here at Rockingham is one of the toughest on the circuit on tires. And that excessive tire wear affects everything a driver and a crew chief do all race long. Folks, you're going to be so tired of us talking about tires today, you won't be able to stand it. But that will be the story. Tires and the keys to long tire longevity are a good handling race car and a driver that takes care of those four black round things on the car. If that driver doesn't, he's going to spend much too much time in the pits. Getting set to go at Rockingham through on this 1.017 mile track for 400 miles. All right, we go from the high banks of Talladega to the just gritty racing here at The Rock. My name's Adam. Thanks for checking out the video. Five races to go in our season. Oh, boy. The nerves are packing up. We're right on Ryan Newman's tail in the points. Started 14th. We're kind of hanging out there right now. You're Sterling Marlin. Do we? Are we? Are we okay? Okay. Jeez. Sterling Marlin was running weird from the get-go. We don't want to be on the outside here too long because we are worried about our tires. Things settled down here. I'll, I'll talk about the Talladega race. That was, that was just good stuff. All right, looks like Sterling Marlin regrouped. Tony Stewart had the pole this race. That's a big pole for him. Trying to 
Make a comeback in the points. We can't hang out up here. We have to get down to the inside somehow. Because A, we're losing spots, and B, I'm trying not to lose spots. <laughs> so I'm driving a car pretty hard. And we're squealing the tires right there. Can't do that. All right, we're gonna just we're gonna get behind Gordon. We have to stem the bleeding of our tires. But yeah, thanks for all the views, comments, likes, and subscriptions as always. I know people will tend to watch these races later in the season. And the stakes are higher. We have a little bit of a like sub 50 pit window. Like 40, I want to say like 46, 47, 48, something like that. One random caution. Also. Yeah, unfortunately, I think... Um, you know, I don't want to make a mountain out of a molehill with the tires, but it's a huge deal. Making sure we can run with them at the end of the... At the end of the window. Gordon's going to give us... Robbie Gordon's going to give us this. We'll take it. Clear. Dale Jarrett's going to give us this. We'll take this. I'm kind of hoping for an early caution here. Because I forgot to... See where our pit stall is on pit road. There's always always ways around that though. If there's green flag stops, we'll wait till you know we'll just have to be one of the later cars to pit because then I'll get some cars going down pit road, jump in the replay, and see where our stall is at whenever they head down pit road. I've been burned too many times by trying to look for it when I'm on the straightaway right there. But yeah, Talladega's, the, the, Talladega was a lot of fun. I uh, jumped into the replay analyzer and it's just a great program. Like, it gives us like every detail of the race. You can do lap by lap shows your path around the track it's just unlimited stuff in that it's pretty awesome and uh my main thing is i wanted to check to see how fast our lap times were at the end during the the splash and goes the splash and wins and we were actually one second faster than ryan newman when you factor in the two laps pretty much that you're, you slow down for uh, pit road. Like, entering pit road and then coming back off of pit road. Those two laps, we were one second faster than him. So, I really think it had a lot, it had a lot to do with our pit road entry. Like, that was just, we, na I, we nailed it. watch what Ricky Rudd wants to do yeah I don't know what he wants to do started 14th we're sitting in 14th I 
definitely taking her easy now. The tires will come up and bite you here. Fast. Yep, they like to dive in there like that. I knew that was coming. And we have Elliot Saller on us. Car outside. The first Rockingham race this season, we started 40th because we blew our engine <laughs> in a practice. And had fun with that and started at the rear of the field. Um, and I forget the actual particulars on what happened, but Scott Wimmer took us out. Like, it was a legit... It legit wasn't our fault. It seemed like he just like veered into us and hit us. So wasn't happy about that, but that was so long ago. Alright, we're we've gotten close to that wall coming out of four a couple times now. Got to be a little bit smarter about it. Tony Stewart, it's it's we're definitely at the point where Tony Stewart cannot afford a DNF. Like he just he can't afford a bad finish. He's got to be finishing top five every race. Ryan Newman's already jumped out to the lead. Ryan Newman started it's like seventh or eighth, I think. But that's where we want to be. Look at those three boys up there. Pretty much chase drivers are sweeping the top ten right now. And Mark Martin, just he's not having a good time. He's back in twentieth. He's in the chase, but got off to a horrible start. I forgot to actually show what happened to him. It just he just wasn't worth the time. He just went off the track for a few laps. Halfway through this run, pretty much. Good difficulty here. And, I mean, full disclosure, I even turned up their grip some for this race. Mayfield's got to get around Jamie McMurray. He's holding us up here. Oh, I thought he was going to make his move right there. But he has to here. I'm begging you to do it. Uh, he wants to. You can tell. We're going to have to make our move. First time we've really tried to stick that on the white line down there and didn't want to work. Mayfield's going to dive in there. They love diving in it from the top. I mentioned it a while ago. The 
Don't forget about Ricky Red. In our rear view, he can sneak up and spin you out real quick. Peaking. We got a good run here, though. Let's finalize this pass. There you go, buddy. Uh, yeah, I mentioned one random, random caution and full damage. We got to get around Jamie Mack. Because he has shown how slow he is. You can see this huge gap to this next car. Let's stay off. Let's stay low here. Not let McMurray take us out. stuff all right we're in 11th we're knocking on the door of top 10 but we're past the point of oh we got to get top 10s we got to be consistent I mean we still have to be consistent but we got to start winning a, we got to start worrying about Ryan Newman I mean we've been <laughs> you know what I'm saying I mean it's no longer a consistency you know, it's going to pay off at the end of the season. Well, we're at the end of the season, so we can't just settle for top tens. We really have to push the car. Okay, we did okay with the tires here. They're going to turn yellow before the end of the run, though. And we're rapidly catching Kurt Busch. Not rapidly, I mean, we're just... We were what? Two, three, six? We lost time there. Okay. Three tenths? How did we lose three tenths? Well, we're losing our tires. I know they up, turn yellow. We got about ten laps to hang on here. Gained a tenth there, it looked like. I feel like we're okay on tire, so I'm now pushing the car a little bit more, knowing that we can get to the window. Oh, he's definitely, I mean, he's right there. We can feel, I can feel him. I can feel his aura. First time I've taken that turn like that. That was stupid. How are we losing time to him? It just feels like we're gaining on him slowly but surely. But we keep on... One step forward, two step backwarding it. But I think we're going to catch him now because he's caught up to this other group. No, oh, my tires, come on. Usually I go to commercial. Usually I would have went to commercial when we were behind Mayfield, but you know, it's uh, playoff fever right now. 
And Rockingham is just fantastic. <laughs> this will be tough sledding at the end of a run if it's near the end of a race. Are there any lappers yet? Yep. Leaders are already on the lappers. Kyle Petty's already a lap down. these leaders to pit and then we can see where our pit stall is also figure out what the pit road speed limit is too they must be I don't know I'm pushing the car here we're fine. Kurt Busch is getting held up by Dale Jr. I made that joke in one of his graphics that he either DNFs or top tens, and it's true. Like he's, it seems like he's always running up near the front, or he just DNFs. I think we're seeing pit stops this lap, and I think I know where my pit stall is now. Anyway. I've been taking some peaks. Uh, it's got to be coming up now. We got plenty of room behind us. Nobody's going to get into us whenever we slow down. Plenty of. It's a lot of room for error. Yep, there's a pit stop. Somebody, we're going in. Keep it under 45. Keep it under 3,500 in second. Yeah, we got down. We're good. I don't think we have a speeding penalty Watch yet this year. Now. Keep it on 3,500 in second. Do we have? All right, I see our stall. The leader's pitting now. We'll fill you up. All right, we we. Oh no! Don't hit us! Don't hit us! Don't hit us! Jeez, he killed an Oompa Loompa there. I was just about to say, hey, we pulled in a little little deep into our stall, and Elliot Sadler almost took out one of the Oompas. I think he drove through one, but. Jeff Gordon, I've been. Okay, you're clear of pit lane. We hadn't seen Jeff Gordon all race, and here he is. Oh, I almost okay, hit that wall head on like an absolute clown. All right, let's go. No, what? Mm -hmm. But again, this is all relative stuff. We're going to see okay, we're under where to the end of the line. Stay behind the Gordon and Newman are at. And we'll go from there. But if we're caught a lap down, we're in a lot of trouble. That's the rain of caution, by the way. Pretty much the worst timed caution of all time. Reach up there and pull those belts tight. We aren't down a lap. Looks like everyone uh, survived from going a lap down, except for the cars that are genuinely lap down, I think. Boris said is DNF'd somewhere. We're in eighth. We picked up three spots during those pit stops somewhere, but this is going to be brutal. Uh, I want to make a decision here. I think I think Ryan Newman's just going to get a. Just, he's going to fire out of this like a jackrabbit down into one. Because I'm thinking about trying to get to the inside and gain spots with the lappers. 
but yeah, Ryan Newman's already Ryan, New Ryan Newman's already head of the leader. Of the, I don't know, <laughs> making sure our car doesn't spin out there. Gordon has the right idea. Gordon's going down with the lappers. Ooh, nice tires at Rocky. Fresh tires at Rockingham are delicious. But let's be careful now because we, if, if we're going to run this line and they're a little bit slower, we can't give Junior back there an inch of daylight because he'll take it and put it into our butt. Tony Stewart's pinning. Unbelievable. He's going to be done. I mean, we're gaining a spot. Good for us, but that's that's pretty much a death. That's pretty much... It's pretty much curtains for his season. We did okay in that first run when we, you know, we ran up high for the first couple laps and chewed up our tires some. But we can't. Um, so we know it's possible. Trying to put my thoughts together here, Gordon. I, I, I almost wrecked because I saw Gordon fly down to the inside like a psycho, way up ahead of us. And Jeff Green's really not doing us any favors on that top line. We got to get down here. comes Leffler. Oh, he snuck in there pretty fast. We're okay. Are you taking it, Junior? I'd rather not go three wide. some seconds ahead of third place. I think this, this has the potential to be a really good run, pit window wise, tires tires wise, because we didn't really have to spend them too much. We were racing there for a while, but now we're really kind of cradling them in close to our bosom. <laughs> the, tire, the, the tires. I don't know what I'm. I don't know what I'm talking about. Trying to come up with an analogy. Trying to make sure Riggs didn't do anything stupid. So there was still a lapper up here, Mike Wallace. What am I doing? I, just, I gotta get down here. There we go. If I was a betting man, I'd say we will get another caution here. Rockingham's usually good for a good, usually good for a caution, an AI caution kind of deal. So we'll see what goes on there. And Tony Stewart didn't DNF, but he's in a lot of trouble. He'll, he'll have about 
a five lap window where he'll want a caution to come out. After, after we all pit under green flag and then he'll get his lap back and then he'll want a caution to come out. But looks like we're just going to hang out here for a while. acting a little weird we're not i don't know something feels weird i think our the tires aren't as good as they were in the first run and i thought for sure if i just shut my mouth during that commercial and concentrated we would pass dale jarrett and matt kenseth and we weren't able to Jamie McMurray in the rear view was actually barking at us for a while. Now, looks like he's had, he has his hands full back there with uh, Jimmy Johnson and Junior. Skipped about 12 laps for the commercial. We got a run here, and I missed it. No, we got it. Don't do your dive job. Stay up there. Thank you. good here just hug this get out of town there we go yep all right p tony stewart unless he gets some kind of miracle he's gonna be cooked i think jimmy johnson was about 50 points behind him so jimmy johnson might be Jump up into the top uh, top four, the big four. But it's going to be the big three pretty soon because I mean, <laughs> a couple more races, they'll, they'll mathematically be done. Won't be able to win the championship. I saw Carl Edwards was in the lead going to commercial. Ryan Newman's taking it back. They're probably having a lot of fun up there. Jeff Gordon's up in fourth. We're, if we want to get a win, we're going to need another caution here. Already had one random caution, and that's all she wrote for that. You can put, you can, you can have as many as three. Let's take this spot. We have a run. Let's not regret. You know, it's, it seems like they don't come every lap, so we're gonna take it. And Jamie McMurray is just on us. He's gonna get around Kenseth. Yep, <laughs> I knew it. I wish I would have called my shot and said that, that the tire's yellow now. And that's where we were, actually. I think with 10 laps to go into the in the run. Last time they were yellow. Now it's with 12 to go because we're about uh, about lap 50-ish or lap uh, 100. We pitted around lap 50-ish. just a good difficulty I wish every track fell in like Rockingham does in terms of difficulty and 
maybe they can, but I just spent a lot of time, I remember, because Rockingham had the worst case of uh, tire fall off for the AI. So that's really, Rockingham is really where I sunk my teeth into trying to fix that. And that's probably why it's so nice here. Best lap of 24 flat. We can run a 23 something. No question. I think I ran a 23 something in qualifying. Which again, you have to qualify just to put your name into the save game editor so you can go in and succumb to series will wherever she puts us. I'm hoping she, I'm hoping she gives us something down the stretch here. I haven't been keeping track of the top tens, but percentage wise percentage wise we're doing better than because I'm not gonna go too deep into the percentages, but I mean we ask her for a number one out of ten. And thirty races, should that give us the that should be three top tens in the, in a season? Starting positions? I don't know. If there's somebody out there that knows what I'm trying to figure out, let me know the answer. I mean, we have a 1 in 10 chance every race. Yeah, that would it, it would it would come out to 3 mathematically. We have a 1 in 10 chance of getting a top 10 start. And with 30 races, every Oh, here we go. Accident in the pits, so I uh, don't. Uh, uh, hey, hello, here we go. What we got? Is it too much to ask for it to be Ryan Newman? Pit road is closed. Let's actually try to catch up here. Alright, we're going to be caught up. Now let's make sure some ass wagon behind us doesn't slam into us. Pit road is now open. Limit 45. Keep it under Limit 45. Let's get down. We're in good shape here. Um, Elliot Saller's pitting in front of us. I forget who's behind us. Jamie McMurray. The pace cars in turn one. All right, Elliot Sadler. In turn two. Wait. Something Come on, Oompas. You guys, we had a problem with one of the tires. Did you? The pace cars on the back straight. Go, go, go. Well, Limit. Elliot Sadler was involved in that wreck of some kind. In second. Junior, get out of my face. Watch that speed now. I'm a coward on pit road, and he took that spot. Okay, you're clear of pit lane. Sorry. All right, back stretch, getting ready for the restart. Tony Stewart, I'll give you a peek. Tony Stewart is the lead car a lap down. So if he's not wounded at all or something's weird with this car then Jeff Gordon's not gonna be able to get down into one it might be worth getting to the inside here I really think so but this is gonna be hectic let's shake it out let's, let's just let's go we need a good jump here not the best jump come on car Blah. Nope, Gordon still dove down in there and got that. And we're off and <laughs> we're off to the races. Outside. Look out, what's going on here? Gordon. Gordon pitting. What do we got? Uh no. Three wide. Car inside. Car outside. Outside. The yellow flag is out. Mm. Red go. Back to the line. Clear. Pit road is closed. We got a red. Turn 
turn four. We got a rag in the pit. We got a rag on the front stretch. Okay, we're under caution. Catch up to the end of the pacing line. Stay behind the two car. You got a slow car up high. Looks like we're bent up on the back end. The leader's pitting now. Pit road is now open. Well, we're going into pit. Keep it under 45. Keep it under 3500. Something was just weird. Pass the five car. The pace car in turn one. Watch that speed now. Keep it on 3500 in second. Remember, don't pass the stop sign at the end of pit road. The pace car in turn two. We'll see if she's salvageable. Pace cars on the back straight. The pace cars in turn three. The pace cars in turn four. Go, go, go! Keep it under 45. Keep it under 3,500 in second. The pace cars on the front stretch. Okay, you're clear of pit lane. Stay behind the 11 car. Okay, merge when you can. We won't fix the damage. So let's see what's going on. I, I looked at the wreck. Ryan Newman, just, he was one car ahead of where we wanted him to be. The car behind him just got, just eliminated Kyle Petty. And I saw Dale Jarrett flipping around in the replay. Here we go, Matt Kenseth DNF'd. There's gonna be a lot of beat up cars here though too. So let's pick up some spots. Let's see if the car is still with us here. Trying to, I don't know what I was trying to do there. I was trying to gain a spot. And me and Leffler tangoed. Man, these cars, some of these cars are pitting after uh, cautions and stuff. I wonder what that's about. Robbie Gordon is missing his car. Pretty much this entire car. We gotta pick up spots, man. If he's coming out already, I'm wondering if there's a something going on with the restarts and you know, cars jumping the restart here. Or something. I don't know. guessing that's what happened with Tony Stewart and then we saw Jeff Gordon pitting which is what I'm pretty sure is what set off that chain reaction tires be damned I'm just we gotta pick we gotta get points Keep 
I mean, I ran a 24. I just, I guess the car is not like we have damage. Damage is on. It's there's no such thing as cosmetic damage, or maybe there is, but it's not on. much longer our tires can survive. They're doing okay. Newman in the lead. Come on, Edwards. Spin him out. <laughs> it might be... This might be too much to recover from. For us. As it stands, Newman would gain 22, 27, probably 27, 28 points on us. And we'd be, we'd be back to a 50 point deficit with four races to go. So, 40 sounds nicer, sounds more reasonable. So that's why I'm trying to. Kamikaze through the field here and pick up some spots. But I think we've officially picked off all the beat-up cars. We're kind of plateauing now. Yeah. Oh. I mean, we just ran a 23.9, though. So, I mean, I, I honestly don't know. Looks like we got a couple more spots here, unless Terry Labonte is a lap down. Uh, do we want a caution? <laughs> I don't know. I was thinking about not spinning them out, but just what the benefits of that would be. Well, you got to go, buddy. He is for a position, though. do that for the rest of the race. Alright, 19th. We're in 19th. Not awful. Twenty laps to go. Newman in the lead. Guys, help me out here, man. Somebody, we need a gift from the heavens. Make sure Ryan Newman does not win this race. Seems like they're having a battle up there. Mike Wallace. No thanks. You put us in this mess, by the way, Mike Wallace. 20-some races ago when you took us out of Atlanta. That's when we had to turn on the Jets, and we, that's when our top 10 streak began. Because we realized we were just going to be Poopville the whole season. We were dropping in the points. I don't have a camera on me, but you should see me <laughs> sawing the wheel here. 
in the turns. We're just hanging on. We can maybe gain a spot here on Jeff Burton. I'm guessing Jeff Green's a lot down because he's an absolute clown. Hold on to me. Yeah, I had to really had to yank the wheel there to get that to turn at the last minute. We're fine. It's Wimmer. You put us in this hole too at Rockingham, taking us out. We're exercising our demons. All right, Junior, get under green. Punch him in the throat. Leffler is having a bad stretch. Talladega and then this. I'm not going to say I'm content with where we're at right now, given the progress we've made, but if we don't lose any more spots, I feel good. If the tires just don't, you know, if the tires just don't quit on us here, if the tires quit on us here and we lose spots, then yeah, it's bad news bears. But I think... Twelve to go, we can kind of survive. Well, the Oompa Loompas definitely fixed our car up, whatever they did. I thought we were toast. Big. That was a. Blaney almost came to a complete stop there. Come on, Junior, pass it. Because we don't want to deal with Casey Kane. Because we can't. Yeah, we can't survive. We cannot survive on that bottom line if someone's right on us. Simple math. I'm trying to think of what my math is. Clear. Car inside. Be by. Um, Still there. 15th place, where we're at right now, is obviously 15 points yeah. less than first place, but then first place gets an extra six. So we'd be losing 21 points, Still maybe there. 22 if Newman is, and if Car Newman's inside. led the most laps. So we'd be losing 22. We came in down 23. So we'd be down 45. I want to I want to stay in that 40 number. It's still anything can happen at a race. We can get a DNF from Newman or something. But I know we're going to be in third place because Jeff Gordon's um, somewhere top 10. But, oh, come on, Mayfield. Didn't Mayfield win? Who won here the first time? Mayfield, I think. If uh, Mayfield can hold on. And uh, we just, we, yeah, we can't let Newman win. Look out. Because that would be a race those six and seven because another point Newman finishes in second. It's a 13 point difference. Maybe if he leaves lap 14, so we'd be under 40. So worst case scenario right now is being 45 points down <clears throat> with four races to go. Best case scenario.
Um, well, a lot of things can happen. Best case. Is that Newman? Come on! No. <laughs> that might be a position that we're gaining. Yes. I don't know who that was. Thank you, whoever it was. Hopefully it wasn't Mayfield. Okay. But Newman's right on him. They're getting three to go here. And we have a good little line we're running now. And I think we're going to be okay. I think we're not going to lose any more positions here. We just have to concentrate. That was Tony Stewart. I guess he's just off the window and he's fueling up. Schrader's... Okay, Tony Stewart, he might have taken on tires. Let's be careful with that clown. Looks like he did. Look at him. Did Labonte do it too? Where's Labonte getting that speed? Okay, hang on. We, we Our tires are gone, though. Our right front's gone. Labonte was for position. We got to go low here. We can't lose any more positions. Look out. Damn it. Ken Schrader's ruining my life. Yep, Ken Schrader. Thanks, pal. Oh, come on, Ken Schrader, you piece of human being. <laughs> oh, we lost some spots there. He's just, he was slower than, he was upside down. He shouldn't even be on, on the track. He might file a protest. Oh, meanwhile, Mayfield definitely got that win. We survived. We hung on. Sorry, Ken Schrader. We had three cautions for 12 laps. Six leaders, 12 lead changes. Ryan Newman led the most. He's getting that extra bonus point. I mean, <laughs> Tony Stewart, Jeff Gordon, they all gained points on us. Uh, you know, laps led-wise. And these final results, not good. Seeing all those yellow names over there for the chase wise. And also we took a hit on Ryan Newman big time. Um, ugh. Should have finished in 14th, but Ken Schrader jobbed us. That hurt. That one hurt. He was upside down. He should, he should have been, he should not have been in a race. Unbelievable. And then on the back half, Tony Stewart. Again, those were stop and goes with him and Kurt Busch. I was looking at some replays and they passed in front of the, uh, or they, they passed somebody before the start finish on those restarts. So something's going on with the Rockingham restarts. I'm going to look into that. Made a note to look into that. Uh, Jason Leffler over on the left, second race in a row that he's, I mean, you saw... He uh, held up the leaders there on one of those uh, action cutscenes or whatever I do, showing the leaders. So Leffler was beat up. We saw he was beat up. Uh, and Matt Kenseth DNF'd in that wreck. So did Rusty Wallace. Rusty Wallace, other than Darlington, he's been having a rough little stretch here. And Dale Jarrett obviously flipped upside down. And looks like we lost all those guys in that wreck. And we lost Joe Nemechek right before there. Right before that to something. And as I've been starting to do, we'll take a look at these points now instead of uh, at the beginning of next race. We'll do it. Be beginning of next race as well, but we'll do it at the end of these races now. I noticed at the end of uh, Talladega I had the numbers wrong. Uh, but they're correct now. The driver numbers. We're 23 points behind with four races left in the chase. And we're 41 points behind in the Winston Cup now. I knew we were going to be in the 40s. I didn't want to be in the 50s. 41 is realistic. We could make up 20 like that in a race somewhere and be back in the thick of it. But 50 just didn't sound good to me. All right. We have four more races left now. North Wilkesboro is coming up next. God help us. 